So when the media reported you as calling the Muslim community in New Zealand as a serpent underbelly with multiple heads capable of striking at any time and in any direction, mm. was that misrepresenting you? Uh, can I just say that there quickly? Sure. It's your speech. P point it to it. Where's that part? The Page part about, two. No, no, about the Muslim community in New Zealand being that. The two-faced approach is how radical Islam works in New Zealand. The Muslim community have been quick to show us their more moderate Oh, pace. so it wasn't that part there before, that the quote that you put in New Zealand, and it wasn't there, was it? You see, I write my speeches, I know what I say. I just quoted it, Mr Peters. No, you didn't quote it. You said the Muslim community in New Zealand, and, and you added those words. I'm thought, sure that... That, the, is, that is not what I said. The Muslim community understood Good try, you... Kim, but I'm glad I actually looked at it. No, well, I'm very glad that I quoted you accurately. The second time on this programme you've tried that, and not accurately. With respect. The Muslim community understood well, no, you. Here we go. Read it back to them now, so the, so the audience will know who's telling the truth here. Where's the part where the not Muslim community? Muslim I community can, is... Mr. Peters, but the fact is that no, you were reported sentence. absolutely accurately, no, 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 and well, the Muslim community well, understood what you were saying. To be quoted and even your supporters understood what you were saying, because immediately after that speech, you fell in the polls. Do you think there's a connection? <laughs> no, I don't think there's any connection at all, at all. I have fallen in the polls when someone misrepresents what I've said, just like you did, sadly, right then. So thanks for showing me the, the authority, which wasn't authority at all. It's a remarkably disingenuous remarkable. position you take, Mr Peter. No, no, I just, I just expect to be accurately quoted. That's what good journalism's about. It's did not editorialising and adding what somebody didn't say into the quote. Did you That's bad misread journalism. the mood of the electorate when you gave that speech? No, look, there's no... Well, can you perhaps show me the poll that says that I fell instantly after that? Well, you went down after that. Oh, I see, so you're going off your authority again. Well, I don't remember that being the case, but if you say so, I'll grant it to you, you might be right. Is there anybody you respect in Parliament at the moment? A lot of people I respect. A lot of people I quite admire. A lot of people who, uh, I think... Who's top of the list? Um, well, I wouldn't say I have a favourite, but you've got to respect people who have been around a while, have got experience, who you know are capable. Just give me a name. Uh, in what sense? Across the divide of politics or... Okay. Who do you most the respect in Parliament? Well, I respect a lot of people. I'm not going to make that sort of decision tonight just off the top of my head. Is it that hard? No, it's not that hard, but what's it, could do, what's it got to do... I won't misquote you, what's I it got promise. To do? Well, you won't have a chance to because That's I'm right. live. Say it yourself. But, but I was, Go for I, it. I thought I was name here. a name. I thought I was Someone here. you like. Look, could you just quieten down and listen to me? I thought I was here to talk about New Zealand First policies. Not Done that. So, not something so transparently flippant as, who do you like? I'm sorry. With respect. You Thank know, you for your time, Mr Peters. Business. After the break, what you have to say about Don Brash and Winston Peters.